What's up party people, Android Stud here and I have the OnePlus 7 Pro and I wanted to talk about some of the security features and privacy features that you have with the OnePlus 7 Pro. As we all know, it has that awesome in-display fingerprint reader which is super fast, it's awesome. But there's some other security features and privacy features that you can use on the OnePlus 7 Pro that'll help you feel safe and secure when using your device. And I wanted to show you these features. Some of these features are on other Android devices or even the iPhone. But these are the features that I found on the OnePlus 7 Pro that I use on a day-to-day -day basis that have been very helpful, including the in-display fingerprint reader. Now, there's a couple things that you could do on this device as far as unlocking your phone or keeping everything secure and everything private so no one gets your information or nobody steals anything from you. So what you wanna do is you wanna hop into settings, you wanna go into low security and lock screen right there, boom. And then you wanna go into screen lock. Now I'm gonna put in my pin real fast. And then you have four options. The swipe is not security at all. So anybody will be able to swipe open your home screen and go into your device. Now you could do a pattern if you want, which is kind of cool. That's like old school. I don't do patterns anymore. I do a pin. You could do a pin, which is real simple. You put in your, you, you select a pin, you could do four digits. And that's what I use. Now you could do a password also if you want, but I don't do password, I just do the pin. So mine is set to pin, so we're good to go. So if you can jump back out and you wanna jump in, you wanna swipe up, I'm gonna have to put my pin. You see that? So I also have face unlock on, so uh, that's why I opened up so fast. But just for demonstration purposes, as you can see here, the camera's up, but there's no face. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock the rest of this and you're good to go. Now, the next thing that you can do on here is you could set up your fingerprint reader. Now the fingerprint is pretty cool. You go like this, you're good to go, you're in. So you go into settings, you go into security and lock screen, you go into your fingerprint. I gotta put in my pin. You have to set a pin with your fingerprint. It's like a two step verification process. Just in case the fingerprint fails, your finger's wet, whatever it may be, you have a backup so that you can get into your phone. Now I set up two fingerprint displays on mine. Now you could, I set it up, you could pick up your phone to show, tap the screen to show. So what happens is when your phone's like this and you pick it up, fingerprint, boom, you're in, all right? You could also tap, fingerprint, you're in, okay? So it's pretty simple. Now you could do a couple things with the fingerprint, set up the animation on it. You have Stripe, Ripple, uh, Cosmo, that kind of thing. I have it on Stripe because it seems like it's the fastest one. As you can see, watch, when I do the fingerprint, boom. Because the animation's less, so it seems like the fingerprint's faster. Now, this fingerprint is phenomenal, unlike the Samsung devices that kind of slow. It's gotten better, but it's still not as good as the OnePlus 7 Pro. So, tell your story walking. So as far as the fingerprint, that is the cool thing. And like I said, you could do the, the raise the wake and set it up there in your, your fingerprint settings so that you don't have to sit there and turn your phone on every single time. Now, let's take a look at a very cool feature and that's called face unlock. So you go into your settings, you go into security and lock screen, and you're gonna go into something that's called face unlock right there, see? You go in a, you're gonna have to do a pin, same thing, two-step verification process because just in case your face you know, it's covered or whatever it may be. Now you select the face and then you add your face data. It's real easy to set up. Now, there's a way to unlock. You could do swipe to unlock, which I have. I'll show you now. We're gonna swipe to unlock it. See the camera go? And it opens up. You see that? Let's try it again. Boom, you see my camera? Came out. Let's do it again so you can get the super, you can get the sexy camera right there. Boom, you see that unlocked? Pretty cool. Now, as you go back into your left screen settings, face unlock, you can, I gotta put my pin in again. Every time you go in there, you're gonna have to do your pin because it's a security feature and it keeps everything safe. Now, you could also auto unlock once the screen is on. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. I don't personally like to do that because that means your camera is gonna open up every time you unlock your phone. So for example, we go like this, boom, 
is going to open up. You know what I mean? Instead of swiping unlock. I know it's kind of like do if you don't, damn if you do, don't, damn if you don't, right? But I have it set up so I swipe up. I use the fingerprint a lot. I don't get into the face unlock that much. I do have it on here in case I do need it um, for whatever reason. But the front facing camera is super fast. It, it's really, you would think, oh, it's not going to work that good. It works awesome. So you're going to have no issue. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to set it back to swiping up to so that it opens up that way. So we go back in there, we select that, and then we are good to go. So if we want to turn the device off, swipe up, and there we go, it is good to go. Now, the other feature that is pretty cool on here is the power button. Now, check out the options when I hold down the power button. See, you have power off, restart, and lockdown. So if we select lockdown, that means that the face unlock doesn't work, the fingerprint doesn't work. You see that? You can't even get into the fingerprint. So this is good if you're at home or at work and you wanna lock your phone down. The only way you can get in is with the pin or a pattern or even the password. So that is an excellent, excellent feature. Now, the way that you get into that is you go into security and lock screen, and you have a feature here. Oh, sorry about that. Wrong deal. Lock screen preferences. Okay. So you go in there and you see show lockdown option. You want to select that. You want to make sure that's selected so that you're good to go as far as lockdown. Now, the other feature that you have is you can let this unlock if it's on you, on your body detection, or even if you're at home or even at work. I don't really recommend this because if you're at home and you leave your phone on the counter, someone's going to be able to get into it or even at your job. So, but I will show you for example purposes. If you go here, there's something called smart lock. Okay. You see it right there. And then you're going to have to put in your pin, right? And you have different things that you can do here so that you can, um, so it will unlock automatically. So you have on body detection, trusted places, trusted devices. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the on body detection, continue. And I'll show you what I mean, because if you go now and I go like that, it's still, I mean, it still did the face unlock, but let me see if we can turn off the face unlock just so you can kind of get an example of it just unlocking because it's on my body face unlock. Put in our pin, okay. We're going to turn off face unlock and then we're going to go here and we're going to see the fingerprints on. Oh, it still did the uh, pin. Let's see if we can, here we go. Let's see if we can get it to work. Here we go. One, two, three, <laughs> but yeah, it, it'll work. So I think it takes a little while to kick in. So you just have to, um, but that's how you, you can set it up so that you can unlock it. So you have unbody detection. Let's go back in there real quick. Always happens when you're doing a video, you try to do something, but just unlock once and your device stays unlocked as it is in motion. So it'll also unlock if you do a, like a trusted place or trusted devices or even a voice match, you could set that up. But I'm gonna put face unlock back on because I like face unlock. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up so that it is swipe up to unlock, which is great. Yep, so if we go like this, there's my thing, face unlock, and I got my fingerprint, I'm good to go. And the final thing that you can set up on this that's kind of cool is something called SOS or emergency. So if you go into security unlock, you're gonna go all the way to the bottom here, emergency rescue, okay? Now, if you go into emergency rescue, you could set this up so that if you quickly hit your power button five times, It'll send a distress signal to the person that you set up and you could put in all your information inf information here, real simple. And you could put your name, address, blood type, allergies, blah, blah, blah. You could put your contacts, emergency contacts. So your wife, your girlfriend, whoever it may be, your mom, your dad. Um, and if you hit the power button five times, it'll send a distress signal to them, letting them know you're in trouble. Hopefully you don't need to do that. It's for an emergency. 
But hey, if you ever need it, that really could come in handy and it could be something that you really, 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 really need. So it could come in handy. You most likely won't need it, but it's there if you need it and it's an emergency. So God forbid if you do need it, but it's there if you need it. Now, another feature, the final one is if you go into lock security and lock screen, there's something called show password. And this displays characters briefly as you type. Now, if you have this unselected, when you put in your password for like Netflix or Google account, whatever it is, it won't repeat your, your keystrokes. So nobody can steal your keystrokes. So if you go back in here and you go to show password and you select it, when you go to do, like I'll show you for, it, for an example, if I go into, you know, it's, what it's basically going to do is display your characters when you're typing. So you want to turn that off if you want to be secure. But that's going to do it, man. I'm Android Stud. Follow me on Twitter at Android Stud. Also on Instagram. Leave a comment down below if you got any other kind of cool tips and tricks when it comes to security and privacy. These are mine that I have figured out on this device. Also, like this video. Subscribe to the channel here on Android Stud. I'm going to have more videos on the OnePlus 7 Pro excellent device i love this device it's really really good i'm really enjoying it but that's gonna do it man stay safe secure and sexy peace